Well, hello there. How is everyone? You amazing, amazing, beautiful, wonderful people. It's Saturday. It's Saturday, baby. The weekend. The weekend. I'm not actually here. This is not actually live. This is pre-recorded because I've got to spend the day on the Air Force Base today. So I may forward some pictures out to the community later. Later. But who are we talking about? We're talking about Jay Slater. That rhymed. God, I'm talented. Anyway, yeah, we're talking about Jay Slayer. As they have come forward with actual pictures, the exact point of the plunge, the dive. And I don't mean like Tom Daly. I mean like fucking fall to his death. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, and this raises some questions, and we're going to talk about it. We are going to talk right about it, right? Because I don't know what you guys think. And later on, keep your eyes peeled. Because I've got another one more video touching on something else. To do with how he ended up here. So, Jay Tragedy, exact spot where Jay Slater plunged to his death is seen for the first time after it's pinpointed by Sniffer Dog Search Team. Jay Jay's family asked a Dutch search team to find the spot as police did not reveal exactly where Jay fell. So let's just take this in for a second. So law enforcement, sort of Guardia Civil, find Jay, right? That's all done hush-hush. The searching of him was done secretly. The obtaining of DNA was done in a method that would not include the family. And then they withheld the exact point of where he was found. So they couldn't lay flowers or anything like that. They couldn't go and visit it. So look... The skeptic in me, the skeptic in me has a problem with that. But let me know what you think down below. Do you think that's just not, you know, at the end of the day, it's obviously a dangerous place, isn't it? People fall and cut and fall to their deaths. Why? That's the big question. Why? As we're going to have a closer look at this in a sec when I've learned how to use a mouse. So, the spot where tragic Jay Slater fell to his death in a treacherous ravine in Tenerife has now been revealed. J19 was attempting the 11 hour walk back to his family. It sounds like he was on some sort of fucking adventure. Like he was attempting a round the world visit. He, he was fu- <sighs> Accommodation along unforgiven rocky terrain when he plummeted. But the funny thing is, right? Just check out this picture, right? This picture here. Because this is, it's like walking and you get to the edge of a path. And there's a sheer drop. You are obviously not looking what you're doing. You're not looking what you're doing if you're walking along and falling there. They're making it... So you, when you think of ravine, you think about treacherous, you're thinking about a scenario where you could fall at any minute. Fall at any minute, right? This reminds me of, you know, like when you got when you had Roadrunner, the cartoon, when he fucking ran and he and he ran like off the cliff and then was like, oh, and then fell. That's like that. Even the dog has been clever enough to stop at the edge here. As follows, why didn't the dog just fucking walk off and shit Carter off the ravine? I'll tell you why. Because he could see that there was a fucking drop there, and that's a dog. S- they're an intelligent dog, so I know what some people are going to do. Is the dog more intelligent than Jay? Point being, I think if you're walking along there, then you're going to see that drop, and you're going to turn round, and you're going to try and walk back the other way. I don't think you're just going to walk your stupid ass straight off the edge there and fall down however many fucking feet that was. I just, I can't buy it. You know, this is, I look at this and I just think it doesn't look like somewhere where you could make a mistake. It looks like somewhere you'd get to and think, well, I ain't fucking getting that way, am I? I'm, I've got to go back the other way. That's as simple as that. So the question still comes back as to was Jay compass mentis at this point or was he under some form of duress? Was he running away from somewhere and come to a dead end? Come to a dead end, because that's a dead end. Literally a dead end. Do you know what I mean? That ain't a mistake. That's a dead end. That is getting somewhere and realizing you're not going any further in that direction. 
But for some reason, he's walking along here and walks straight off the edge. It just uh, just doesn't make sense to me. It just that that just doesn't make sense. And then we've got this map here, you know, where his phone last pinged. And when it go, when you look at where he's walking, look, going down to the coast, where the fuck do they think he was walking to? Like the people who turn around and say, Jay Slater, uh, he was he, he was walking towards the fucking beach. He thought he could walk down the coast and walk a lot. I'm not buying that, and that's what I'm going to cover later on today, so keep your eyes out. But police last Monday found Jay's body after 29 days, but did not reveal the exact location the teenager fell in the Spanish inland's northwest. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Like I said, I don't think I need to read any more of that article. This is just about clarifying this. Look, Let's just take one more look at this area. You've got this flat ground here, and that there, right in front of where that dog is, is a, is a ridge. Flat ridge. Obviously, the picture is two-dimensional. So, you know, it, it almost looks like the bush carries on. But in a, in a three-dimensional world, you're going to see that's a dead end. And I hate to keep kind of saying the same thing over and over again, but Guardia Civil turn around and they're like, they won't tell the family where he fell, the exact location where he fell. They obviously go to them and say he fell down a ravine. You've got these guys who that dog seemingly leads them to the edge of that, that there. And I can't help but think that Guardia Civil have thought to themselves, "What? how did this silly motherfucker walk off here and land down there? The first thing the family are going to think is, he didn't walk off here. Someone fucking pushed him off. And they had apparently spoken to the people who were the last people to see Jay alive and said that they were irrelevant. I've asked this again. I've asked this question again, or previously, and I'm going to ask it again, right? This ain't about pointing the finger at anyone and saying this. I know this person did something. This is about understanding that you've got two situations here, right? The first one, are you telling me Apps for absolute certainty, Jay Slater was walking along here, got to the end of where that picture was, the end of this foot, just to bring it back one more time, just, just to show people, if I go onto that screen, does it make it any bigger? You know, to that there, I can actually zoom this in, look, I zoom it in, can I move it around? No, that just moves my screen, but where that dog is, look, we can move that over here and look at that on that ledge. He literally walks along here from the direction the dog's arsehole is and strolls along here and shit carts it straight off the edge there. How is that a thing? How is that? I just, I don't buy it. I don't, you know, and I know people are going to get stressed out because they do. I start talking to people, loads of people get stressed out. But I'm thinking if this was my child, would I think to myself, well, he's clearly just walked off a cliff. That is literally like walking off a ledge, isn't it? You, he's walked off a ledge. He's not slipped. He's not. He's literally come to the end of a route and walked off. So the question is, can you, apps for absolute certainty, tell me that there isn't a scenario here that makes less sense than Jay Slater was under some form of duress or he was not compass mentis. He was not compass mentis. And that meant that he either felt that he had to try and get down there rather than going back the other way. So that's your duress. I can't go back. I've got to go this forward. I'm here. I'm going to have to try and make this, this, this work. Or something was going on chemically to make him not understand where he was and what the perils of that direction were. And if that's the case, then someone should be held accountable. Someone. <laughs> Let me know down below and I'll catch you all in the next one.